Hello again, this is Enlightenment and Auburn. And this is my 2017 year in review in photos and videos. Started off with uh, being super cold and snowing. I went to an anime convention called IzumiCon here in uh, downtown Oklahoma City and I already had a uh, Ezio Assassin's Creed costume from Spirit Halloween when I worked there. Except it, a lot of it was really crappy, so I made the gauntlet myself right there and I made the belt thing myself. The sword's actually to a different Assassin's Creed character in a later game. I forget which game. But uh, that was really cool. I enjoyed going there. That was like one of the first times I'd, I'd been a guy character in a long time. Uh, I went with my boyfriend. He dressed up as Negan from uh, The Walking Dead, which was like super huge at that time, but I guess it still is. Uh, here's a picture of the ground, the ground of an impulse, me deciding to make a garden at my old house. And um, we're going to see the pr progression of that. So I think that was a really cool, really cool idea. We'll get to that later, though. Uh, I found a bunch of Shadow Man comics from the 2013 uh, Jack Boniface line at the uh, Vintage Stock in Moore. So I started collecting those, and then the uh, Shadow Man End Times series only number one and number two I haven't read those yet though I went back and spray painted my original uh, N64 controller because I want a teal one to match my console um, I did the buttons black I finally that's a project I've been procrastinating on since 2015 when I was starting it with my ex but whatever couldn't get the bottom to be black so I just took apart my per see-through purple atomic purple and I put that on the bottom I moved out of my grandma's house and I told her I'd paint the room whenever I move out so I painted it purple that was her choice and uh, I did that yes I got paid for that as a uh, bonus side job <clears throat> it was really fun it was just me very small small one person bedroom it's supposed to be like a little kids room I did the trim and the walls the baseboards uh, this is some of the last times I got to go to Sauced uh, the bar the, the for the local uh, eight, first Friday of every month 80s night because this is before I started working overnight of my job Here's me uh, getting my hair dyed from the washed out blue that it was. It's the last time it was blue. It's been blue for like two years. So uh, it was dyed purple. Unfortunately, the purple only lasted like two or three weeks because it washed out because it was not bleached. So I just wanted to see what was going to happen, but it wasn't bleached. So here's the few photos of that. Um, last year when I went to Retro Palooza, I found the... Uh, Super Mario World hack game, and I was playing a lot of that. It's called uh, Return to Dinosaur Land, I think is what it's called. Um, I went to my uncle's farm to see all of my cats, or his cats, whatever, but it was nice to see the cats and the horses and, and the cat, cattle and everything out there again, since uh, I don't have any cats at my house, so I just have like 30 cats out there on the farm that have plenty of room to ro roam around and everything, and they're all outdoor cats, but there's still a lot of them are still very, very tame. There's Nilla. And then back to my old house, here's uh, the first of the plant coming up, which is a tiger lily. And that one is a tulip. Possibly it's a daffodil. Can't tell at this point. I think it's a tulip. More vintage stock adventures. I found the uh, Smash of Pumpkins Gish on the right and... Um, Pisces is carry it box sets, which are like two CD, B side CD, and like a DVD. I haven't watched the DVDs yet, but I listen to the songs all the time. 
They all come with postcards. One of them even comes with a cassette tape. I don't have a cassette tape player, so I don't know. I don't know what it sounds like. More uh, going to Sauced and going to the uh, the High Low Club. I got to see um, Esoteric one more time. I don't have any footage of this, but uh, that was that concert with um, Allison and Brady, aka Kaz loves bats, aka the Goblin Queen. As, as, as she's known on YouTube with the local band um, there's one of my tulips blooming I had probably about eight or nine plants going at the same time and then unfortunately we had to move because we got evicted because this we complained on the sewage and the landlord wouldn't replace the sewage or anything so this is me looking for a new place to live which really sucked so because basically we had to get all of our crap out of there immediately um, there's me packing everything. I had uh, l less than a month to to move on top of working and not requesting off. Um, Chris Cornell of Soundgarden and Audio Slave passed away, so a lot of the record stores had little tributes to him. I'm more pissed off on that than I am sad because it was suicide, and I think that's bullshit excuse. But, I mean... I don't know. I'm still mad on that. Um, there's me and, and Eric and I's uh, record collection at the time. There's my um, Place to Bury Strangers um, Transfixiation vinyl, which is like one of my favorite albums right now, or at the time, and still right now. There's me living off of uh, Donuts and Monster when I started my uh, graveyard shift job, showing up at 11 p.m. and leaving at 6 a.m. Um, I finally watched all of Helsing Ultimate. That's what that is. I found them really cheap. It's really good. I was playing a lot of um, Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. It plays a lot like Dirge of Cerberus. Like the Vincent Valentine game. But I think it's really cool. The mechanics are fun. There's the USA, USA Mountain Dew drink. Here is Eric promoting the Rain Within show and the Pig show, which I'm going to show footage of later when we were posting them at all the bars and tattoo shops. And there's me. This is us at the Hilo Club. It's very hot outside. It was exhausting. So I decided to dye my hair again. This is after the washed out uh, purple turned blue again. This is it bleached. We're getting there. Bleachy, bleachy. Because I'm trying to make it da, 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 red. This is black roots and red at the bottom. So like a black red ombre. I still have both sides of my head shaved. But I shaved off the little ear tail things. So uh, a lot of my fashion at this time was black and red. I relaced my uh, XX High Converse into black and red laces. Instead of what it was for years black and green. There's more of me in the black and red fashion with my cool Manson shirt. Um, I started collecting Monster High dolls because at my job, uh, a lot of them went to clearance and they were like $5 a piece. So I started to collect them and I found some at thrift stores, got some from some friends and everything. So that's what's going on here. And then now coming up after this is the, the Rain Within Provision Esoteric shows. We're going to see a clip of uh, some, some of those bands. Provisions all the way from Houston, Texas. Esoteric's local band from Oklahoma City. And The Rain Within is from Charlottesville, Virginia. They're all synth pop, dark wave bands.
I've been a fan of Esoteric for uh, several years, back when she was Kazlov's Bats on her YouTube channel. Uh, Allison's really sweet. I really, I really, I really like her. Her personality that's portrayed on YouTube is a lot how she is in real life. And her husband Brady, he's he's very quiet, but he's he's really nice too. It was nice uh, hanging out with them. We just kind of hung out and uh, spent spent a lot of time with each other talking about just like bands or whatever we liked. And we both had our sketchbooks out and we were drawing stuff like the whole time. It was just neat because she's kind of hard to get a hold of. There's a lot of stuff happening with her life and she's uh, touring a lot of the time. Her Set Fire to Me EP was released, which is the EP to the newest album that's going to come out, which is the third album, which is also, I think, remixed by the, uh, same, the same guy that went back and redid some of the older songs. So what they're playing live is actually a remixed version of their older songs, which is cool because they had to like, send it all the way to Germany and wait for it to come back. But th that's what's going on there. So everything you're going to hear is a re revamped version of the old songs or it's new songs of the new album. Esoteric had some pretty cool merch, and uh, one of the merch things was this little sticker, which is uh, one of Allison's drawings that's that's her jumping out of a TV that's inspired by Cindy Lauper, or a Cindy Lauper drawing. In the same month, we also promoted for Pig, which is ex-members of KMFDM, Julian K, which is members of Orgy, 
and Ghost Fear, which is a band from uh, St. Petersburg, Florida, which is another synth pop, dark wave type band. This is uh this was really cool getting to getting to see getting to see them. So there's Eric and me. There's Eric with uh, Raymond Watts, who is the lead singer of Pig. There's me with Galen, who is the drummer of Pig, which is cool. He's really short, though. He's really cool. He's a cool guy. They're all pretty down-to-earth people. There's uh, me and Eric and some friends of ours. There's a whole bunch of us that went to this concert. We probably had like 300 people show up to this. There's, a, there's me and Raymond. He's like a super, super British accent. He's really, he's really cool. There's me with Inesh. Who is the guitarist and then we also got to meet who i'd never really heard of i know who orgy is this is uh ryan uh, shuck i think is how you say his last name uh, uh julian k and uh orgy i think he sounds a lot like old school kind of like Bauhaus voice mixed with Depeche Mode voice. I mean, he's his own thing, but it kind of it kind of reminds me of that. Maybe you'll see what I mean. Uh, Julian K is very popular for doing the cover of New Order's Blue Monday, which I also have a clip of here, which they played as the grand finale. Also, all of these pictures I took them. These are not like stolen from the internet photos. Also, I got we got really good uh, footage and everything of Pig, which is going to be shown after the Julian K videos. We're just right up there on them. There's not going to be people in the way on the on these videos or whatever. I mean, we helped promote them. No, we did not get a bunch of swag or whatever. I mean, the people that bought VIP legitimately got the swag. The only thing we got that was, like, super cool was to sit down and talk to them. And, uh, we fed them and everything. So, it was pretty neat. It's kind of complicated uh, hanging out with a bunch of guys because, like, we got, like, the, uh, the the English guy and like the German guy and the other German guy and then the American guy and it's just like what are they saying? In Inesh is very very thick uh, German accent. Galen's the odd man out because he's just like American, but uh, it it was it was really fun. They said it's really hard to get all of them together at the same time because of them living in different parts of the world and everything. So so that was that was still a uh, that was a neat experience. This is also with Pig. Well, they all toured together, Ghost Feeder, Julian Kay, and Pig. It was, uh, their entire schedule was booked. The only day they didn't have scheduled was the 4th of July. So we booked them for the 4th of July. We still had like 300 people show up or however many people it was. <laughs>
thanks for watching. That's the end of part one. That was January through July, and there's still another concert I went to in July, but it was very, very small. Uh, another local band that's one of my favorites, uh, Sex Snobs, and this other band, Mets.